Children and teens who have been forced to leave their country have been through difficult and often scary events. Difficult events and moving into a new country can change how children and teens think, feel, and act. Young children often do not have the words to express how they feel, so they often express their emotions with behaviors. Young children might have trouble sleeping, have nightmares or wet the bed, behave more aggressively or behave as if they're younger than they really are, have stomach aches or headaches, be afraid to separate from a parent or caregiver, be unable to calm themselves if they're upset, or stay focused on past scary events by acting them out. If your child behaves inappropriately or gets upset, stay calm and help them identify their emotions. Tell them about better ways to express their feelings and remind children about what works best to calm them down. Teens might have difficulty putting how they are feeling into words or may feel shame, guilt, or confusion about their feelings. Teens might worry about their safety and the safety of their friends and family, safe focus on past scary events by talking about it, drawing it, or worrying about it. They might have trouble concentrating or remembering things, feel irritable, angry, or sad, want to be alone a lot, have stomach aches or headaches, or sleep too little or too much. If a teen behaves inappropriately or gets upset, calmly remind them of rules and consequences. Talk to them later about what helps calm them down and manage their feelings. Children and teens are resilient and with love, support, and consistency, they can heal and adjust to their new environment. Because parents and caregivers know and love their child, they're in the best position to help their child heal from past events, manage worries, and adjust to a new home. Ways to support children and teens include spending time together doing familiar things like flying a kite, playing chess, or singing a song. You could tell younger children when you need to go away for a short while and when you will be back. Keep children away from frightening images on TV and social media. Let children and teens talk about what happened to them or their feelings by talking, drawing, or acting. Help children and teens understand that their feelings are normal. Tell teens that this process is hard and you are there to support them. Ask teens questions about their day or about their experience with resettlement and listen to their answers. Work with children and teens to identify activities or groups like sports and clubs where they can express themselves and make friends. Sometimes managing stress is not enough and people may want or need more support. Parents can get more help from their child's doctor, school, caseworker, or counselor. Children and teens may need more help if they have problems with their mood, behavior, or physical health that do not improve in time, if they have trouble regaining a skill that they previously learned, if they're involved in harmful behavior like alcohol, drugs, or gangs, or if they talk about harming themselves or others. Anyone who feels life is not worth living, or if someone is having thoughts about harming themselves, they should call 988 or 1-800-273-8255 right away.